Harold Bettis once told me, if you want to learn about how to design an induction system and an engine, just study World War II. This aircraft you see right there, that engine made 3,000 horsepower on the dyno in 1930. There I'm welding a set of, one of two sets of cylinder heads ever made for a Studebaker. Modifying manifolds is something that I really got into in truck and tractor pulling. And there is nothing harder in the world on an engine than truck and tractor pulling. Because these engines go up to 10,800 and stay there until that sled drags them down. So the induction system that you would tune for a truck and tractor pull is different than what you would do with a drag race engine, what you would do with a road race engine, what you would do with a boat. Is that boat a prop boat or is it a jet boat? Two completely different deals.